Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create this beautiful logo transition in Adobe After Effects. It can serve as a transition and it can also be a logo animation or logo intro. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can also do this within seconds just by few clicks and you're going to get different style and different results it's going to be a pro tip so stick to the end of the video and i'm going to share that with you so support me on this one do not forget to like the video subscribe to the youtube channel then come back let's get started now in adobe after effects i am starting with a basic composition 1920 by 1080 and the entire duration is two seconds eight frames feel free to use your own settings and then come back pick the pen tool we're going to set the fill to none and make sure we set a stroke color we can come back to change this letter so now pull back a bit and draw a line click and then hold down shift key to keep it straight this is okay so we're going to increase the stroke width significantly we're going to increase this to about this point so feel free to also use your own size the smaller it is the more duplicate you're going to need to fill off the composition preview window so i'm going to keep this to 250 so expand the scroll property go into the content then the stroke we're going to change the line cap to rounded Hold down control key or command key if you are using mac and double click on the anchor point tool right here that is going to help us pull the anchor point to the center i will set this to fit the preview window so we're going to go inside this right here and add a trim path we're going to go to about 14 frames forward in time about this point and set a keyframe and start property of the trim part then come back to zero and then set the value to 100 hit p on your keyboard to reveal the position property and then set a keyframe for the position then you come back to zero and pull the position right across your frame now hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes select all the keyframes right here hit f now on your keyboard to easy ease you're gonna go into the graph editor and edit the speed graph like this now hit you you on your keyboard to reveal the properties go to the trim part option and set a keyframe for the end property on the trim part and also set a keyframe for the position then we're going to move to the end of our composition right here we're going to change the end value to zero and then move this position across to the left make sure you easy ease all the keyframes and then edit your speed graph so if you preview this now this is what you're going to have beautiful select the stroke layer Control shift c on your keyboard to pre-compose it make sure you move all attribute to the new composition and name this stroke now we're going to duplicate this some couple of time and move it to fill in the composition if you scrub across your timeline now this is what you're going to have so i'm going to offset this randomly i just want to offset it randomly to have some random effects like this just feel free to move it the way you want and that is going to give you this yes beautiful so we're going to select the entire composition and pre-compose it again and then hit ok now we're going to add a fill effect to this so that we can change the color at any time ctrl d on your keyboard to duplicate it and I'm gonna also change the color of the bottom one but move your time indicator to this point then we're gonna offset the top one like this and then change the bottom color to whatever color you may like and then hit ok we're gonna duplicate the bottom one again and I'm gonna offset it like this so if you preview the entire thing now this is what you have beautiful let's switch this panel to project manager window so i'm gonna duplicate this uh, stroke composition then i'm gonna go into it 
So what I'm going to do now is to change the size of this stroke. Any size you like, you can change it to that size. So I'm going to go back to my main composition and then drag this new stroke in between these pre-compositions. So that is going to give me this. You see that? So I'm just going to simply adjust this so that it will come a little bit later. Then I'll add fill to this so that I can change the color as well. So what you're going to do now is to go into this and just change the timing of the animation. So if you go back to the main composition now, this is what you're going to have. Just by offsetting some of these things, you will see that you have a different movement random for that. So you can start from here. So select the top layer and add a drop shadow. We're going to increase the distance. And we can reduce the opacity. And then just increase the softness to about 10. Then I'm going to change the direction so that it will come toward the front like this. Beautiful. So I'm going to control C on my keyboard to copy the shadow effect. I will select the bottom one right here, the both of them, and then paste it on it. So it already have a shadow because this is black. You might not see it. I'll also select the white stroke and paste that on it. You see that they all have a shadow now. Beautiful. So I will duplicate this white and offset it randomly. So if you preview now entirely, this is what you have. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do right now is to see duplicate this white stroke. Control D on your keyboard to do that. Then I'll move it to the top. At this point, I'm going to scale this down so that it will have a smaller size for the stroke. Then I'll scale it down and move it randomly on top. I'll duplicate it some couple of more times. Beautiful. So it is now time to add our logo. So navigate to where you have your logo and bring it into the composition. Drag and drop your logo into your composition, your project manager window right here. Then we're going to set this to composition so that we have the logo directly. Then you hit OK. So drag and drop the new composition and put it right here. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to scale this down. Add the fill effect. You will set the color to any color you want, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to leave it to white. Now move your time indicator to this point and hit P on your keyboard to set a keyframe for the position. Then go back to this point right here and move the logo out of the preview window move it to the right side of your screen copy this last keyframe right here ctrl c then paste it at this point i'm gonna shift it a bit then you select your logo and move it across to the left so select all of these keyframes, then right click on them, go to keyframe assistant, then easy ease. I'm going to select all of this keyframe and then edit my speed graph like this. So let's feed this back to screen. So this is how you can create a smooth transition using your logo. You can now you can then place this on top of video in Premiere Pro or right here inside After Effects to use it as to use as your transition or you can also use it as logo reveal. By the way, I promised you I was going to share how you can create multiple of these within a few seconds. I have a plugin that I have been using sometimes if I 
if I'm if I'm if time is really against me, I'll just use the plugin and edit some of this thing and customize it. So the plugin is AE Juice. So you can find the link in the description. You they will, it comes with a lot of template for this type of logo animation. You just click, drag, and drop into your composition. Then it is highly customizable. You see it right here. So once you click it and it will add to the composition, you can come to this icon right here and it will take you to where you set and then replace all the logo. Very, very easy and fast. Within one minute, you are done. So this is how you can create a smooth logo transition in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin. But by the way, you can also download this plugin. It is not free and the link below is an affiliate link. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.